Every quarter, Roy Morgan Research produces a State of the Nation report. In this report, we look at trends in society in Australia. So we look at social trends, technology, economics, politics and the environment. We also take a snapshot of Australia. So for instance, we see consumer confidence today is 112, down about three points since the crash in the price of iron ore. We see unemployment at 9.8%. If we include those people who are underemployed, that is they have part-time work but they're looking for full-time work, that goes up to 17.3%. So more than 2 million Australians are either unemployed or they have a part-time job and they're looking for more work, they're underemployed. And in terms of politics, the ALP government on a two-party preferred vote has 46.5 and the LNP is well ahead on 53.5. So in this report, as well as looking at overall trends like an ageing population, like the fact that Australians are becoming more open-minded and less conservative, less concerned about safety, we look at the fact that Australians are embracing technology and engaging in all forms of technological advancement and experimentation. We look at politics and we look at the, the changes in the way people are seeing the environment. We also look, each time we do one of these reports, at a particular area. We have a particular focus. So in the past, we've looked at things like people over 50, the baby boomers and their contribution to society. We've looked at things like the divide between city and country. And comparing things in the city versus the country, we see that on most areas, people in the city are just generally doing better. This time, we're focusing on technology and we're focusing particularly on retail sales online. We've identified the amount of dollars that are being spent online and Roy Morgan Research estimates that in the 12 months to June 2012, $22.77 billion, almost $23 billion was spent online in various forms of shopping. Now that's an increase of some 14.2% over the last 12 months and what it means is that online shopping is growing a whole lot faster than regular shopping. Normal retail sales have grown just a little over 3% in the last 12 months. So what are people actually spending their money on online? What are the big ticket items? We see here from this chart that the largest category of online expenditure is travel. That's $5.9 billion was spent last year on travel. That's tickets and, and bookings for hotels and all of that area of travel. And that accounts for 26% of the total online spend. So that's a substantial chunk of online spending. Two other major groups that we see are entertainment and leisure with $3.8 billion or almost 17% of online spend and electronic products, $3.8 four nine billion or fifteen percent of online spend. The report goes through all of the detail on all of the areas that people are spending money and essentially they're spending money more or less on almost every category that you could imagine. The report also looks at who's shopping online. So what we see now is that the majority of Australians, some 57 percent of Australians, have now actually bought something online not just had a look and then gone to the shop and buy it, they've actually used their credit card and purchased online. And that is obviously increasing over time and there's no sign of it abating. So more and more spending online or buying things online is becoming ubiquitous, it's sort of the norm. Now we've said the majority of people are actually spending online but not everyone's spending online and not everyone's spending as much online. So one of the other important areas that this report delves into is just who's spending online. Now not surprisingly, people who have more money, who have higher incomes, are much more likely to be spending online and when they do they spend more money. But also the report looks at that other area, the willingness of people to adopt new technology. And we look through the, the lens, if you like, of the Roy Morgan technology segmentation at those people who are early adopters, the people who basically um, take up every form of new technology and not surprisingly those people are also relatively affluent, 
So when we look at the data, we see very clearly that the people who are most likely to be spending online and spending most are the technology early adopters. And we see, for instance, the, the younger digitalised life, as they're called, those people who are younger, probably students, who are very, very interested in technology but really don't have the dollars to spend on the latest gear, are also not likely to be spending a whole lot online. Not surprisingly, those right at the leading edge, the technology early adopters, um, not only do they take up all forms of technology first, because they're interested in it and brave and excited by it, but they also have the money to spend on that new technology. Now those technology early adopters are also the most likely to be buying online and most likely to be spending the most money online. So it's a fairly, um, I suppose, simple equation that we're seeing. We're seeing technology early adopters the most likely to be spending the most money online. We also see that certain brands are more likely to be online than others. So for instance, if we look in the fast food category, Nando's is much more likely to have their customers coming from that early adopter segment. So they're more likely to have their customers buying things online than say KFC. If we look at travel, we see webjet.com customers are much more likely to be those early adopters, more likely to be buying online than say Flight Centre. If you look at fashion, you see JJ's customers are more likely to be buying online than, say, Katie's. And across every category, you see that certain customers are more likely to be online retail ready. And that's one of the other things that it's really important to understand all about your customers. So this focus on online shopping utilises data that was presented as part of the Roy Morgan Digital Universe. And that's where we look at everything digital that's going on in Australia, whether it's people using smartphones or QR codes or banking online or engaging with the internet, everything digital is covered in that digital universe. And that draws its data from Roy Morgan Single Source, nationwide survey of over 50,000 interviews every year. So the digital universe data is available from Roy Morgan Research, the State of the Nation report number 12, is available from the Roy Morgan online store.